Howdy cowdies, welcome to a quick little walk about at the collector, we've got heaps of cool stuff to show you to, that we're going to be attempting to sell this week, heaps of cool stuff, really like this walker and hall sterling silver little casket box, beautiful bit, over the back there's a lovely French 18th century silver um, goblet cup, whatever you want to call it, little vase, all hallmarked, another beautiful thing, little ivory letter opener there with a malachite handle, Nice little slot car racer over the back, the Ford GT, and a nice little Bakelite yo-yo. Some doll, nice little porcelain doll's head and some lovely jewellery and stuff. And nice little Colport um, decanter labels. It's pretty cool. A couple of little tie pins from Nagasaki. A lovely big lot of cereal toys over the back. They're pretty cool. A little football, plastic football drinks containers. Got all the details on the bottom of them. A little dinky toy Ghost must, Ghostbuster mobile. It's actually an old Criterion ambulance. And that's pretty cool as well. A little Bakelite letterbox there from the guest's uh, letterbox game on Channel 7. A little bit of paperwork to go with it. Yeah, some nice bits and bobs this week. A couple of nice fountain pens in there. A little record player stylus. Another little dinky toy up the top. Heaps of nice bits and bobs. Some interesting Beatles stuff in amongst there as well, including a photograph from them out in the balcony of the Southern Cross Hotel. Yeah, some nice bits in the little jewellery cabinet. Let's have a look at some other nice stuff. We've got a lovely arts and crafts hall stand there. A little modern little grandfather clock, but it looks the part. A little made-up shelving unit there out of recycled timber. The old hat box is quite nice with the old label there. You know, Cotter's Low or something like that. And it's pretty cool. little retro original 70s, 60s uh, Sunbeam Mixmaster. A little gramophone cabinet, no workings in it. A couple of nice little tables. A little deco one's lovely. We've been sort of stuff's been popular the last few months. More nice little bits of occasional furniture. Nice Novatech stereo system there. We've got some cool clothes and costumes again this week. We've got boxes of costumes and boxes of records and boxes of toys. Nice pretty china, some Dalton in amongst there and some Saddler and stuff. Oh, nice little pretty trio in there as well, I just spotted. Uh, some nice little religious pictures as well. Some old road signs are pretty cool. Some wacky sort of stereo equipment. Speaking of wacky... The dentist chair. There you go. It's got all the brain box and everything there to go with it. Really cool thing. I would shudder to think how much it would have cost in its day. All sorts of sort of magazines and hot rod stuff and train sets. And we've got heaps more cool masks this week. Good old Kermit and Donald Duck. Big bag of Coca-Cola stuff. CDs, cameras, ephemera. Nice little box of kids' toys. Old photographs, this is a nice, I like this old beaten brass, sort of arts and crafts. Little galleon there to hang on the wall. Little possum trap, a nice little sort of, um, I think it's a 16mm little projector, screen and the speaker box to go with it. Some nice carpentry tools, some interesting lot of books and sort of baseball cards in their original point of sale box. Got some more cool records down the bottom. All of these sort of European ones have got all hot chicks on the front cover and stuff. Big lot of Elvis and some other records. Pretty cool the photograph there of Dusty Springfield performing in Melbourne in, what, 1964? Nice big lot of costume jewellery. This is a really nice lot as well, actually. The picnic basket. There's fuzzy felt noddy. There's heaps of um, Disney and Warner Brothers and other um, jigsaw puzzles that are complete over in the back. Nice little collection of tins up the top there. Heaps of footy cards. We have a nice big collection of masks down the bottom. Some really cool stuff. Heaps more footy cards. Nice couple of old SS, old Stuart Surridge cricket bats there. Specially made for Lindsay Hassett. They're really nice, actually. Nice old SS's. Pretty cool. The Bo Derek movie poster there for Bolero. And this is fantastic. The Biz Spig Smith sort of industrial clock. And some nice little paintings and stuff this week as well. Nice little Norman Lindsay print up the top there. The Devil is a Gentleman, or something like that, I think it's called. Really cool little thing. This is kind of quite nice as well. The Dennis Crowley, little oil painting there, 1972. It's a copy of a Sally Herman. It's titled Paddington. Really nice thing. Put it next to a Sally Herman, you wouldn't be able to pick the difference. And the difference is going to be about 20 or 30 grand. <laughs> what else have we got? Old Holden hubcaps, some more cool records, a bit of David Bowie, and some Beatles there as well. Stones, Led Zepp, Alice Cooper, the animals, some more nice tins, little Jim Beam truck. 
And as we've got ZZ Tub up the top LP there, some nice old bottles and the lovely old sort of lolly jar out of a milk bar over the back. Nice Victorian riding box, just needs a little bit of work. Some more cool records, the Go-Go's and some other stuff. Some more interesting little group lot, all with sort of hot chicks and stuff on the front cover and the rest of it. A little bit of 80s sort of uh, new wave sort of stuff. Psychedelic Furs, bit of Adam and the Ants. Ultravox, bit of Depeche Mode. Bit of heavy metal stuff in that lot as well. Def Leopard, Megadeth, Metallica, all the Bogan stuff. They're kind of nice as well, actually, the old Crystal Decanters. Nice big lot of camera gear there with a tripod. Milkshake maker's pretty cool. I like this Japanese bronze. She looks to be a reproduction, but she's still lovely. She is a bronze, but she's a lovely bit. Some more nice china and another little carved wooden bookends and a nice little Sheridan style EP set up the top there. The sort of little copper um, plaque there of JFK is a bit interesting. Made in Iran. <laughs> Hank Guthall there, pretty typical little example of his work, but it's always popular. Central Australia. And we've got some interesting little lots in the toy cabinet and stuff as well. Some more cool masks, Batman and Frankenstein. Nice little pile of golf game over the back in its original box. Nice big lot of die casts and other stuff. Little Coca-Cola cars in amongst there as well. Really like this little um, vintage money box there with a little safe. He's pretty cool. The Willow Budget tin is fantastic. Uh, nice little retro clock as well. And they're pretty cool, the old ice cream cone box. Actually got some cones in there still. A couple of Paul Simon records. These are interesting. One of those is the Australian pressing there with him on the front cover. The other one's got the different front cover as well. So a bit interesting. Those two records. What else have we got, guys? Some nice scale extra big box set down the bottom. A pair of fairy boots. Can't go wrong with a pair of fairy boots. The Playboys in front are fantastic. They're all in great condition. Nice little Ernest Abbott etching there of St Paul's. The High Altar at St Paul's in Melbourne. A little lot of tin toys. Heaps of nice glass and crystal and pretty china. Heaps of nice stuff this week. Should be a bit of fun. These are nice, these little baskets with the heavily applied flowers on the front. They're Australian. I think they're Sheila Ann, but they're not marked. Nice bits of carnival glass and the big sort of Tazza over the back there, or Comport. And some nice little bits up the top here as well. The sort of retro thermoses and the kettle. And here's a crack of the little red Panapet National little AM FM radio. Speckled jug over the back's nice. And into the end cabinet we've got some cool stuff. Lovely big sort of oak arts and crafts clock there with a little carved decoration up the top. A couple of nice Victorian oil lamps. He's lovely as well. The MFB firebox there. Another one of them. This one looks to be being repainted. Pretty cool pair of 1970s um, ladies sort of lace-up boots there with a real 70s orange and brown sort of pattern. Pretty amazing. The sort of Victorian glass dome that someone's made like a wool, a, a wool diorama of flowers and stuff out of wool. Really quite cool. And he's nice as well. A little spelter figure. A couple of nice brownie downing cabinet plates. Bozo Lee Clown. Bozo the Clown, they're fantastic. The Bozo masks. He's great, the little celluloid duck. Or chick there with his bow tie and his cap. And that's fantastic. Little clock there with a little googly eyed person up the top. And we've got a lovely Robert teapot. The Herbert Moore book's beautiful over the back. All Australian subject. Lovely bits of Victorian glass and Parian figures there. Nice bits of deco as well. Really like this Kia Aura 50-50 uh, Cordial little cardboard advertising sign. It's a great little bit. And some nice things on the top shelf. The little celluloid bunny rabbit there sitting on his top of his radio with his headphones is absolutely fantastic. The Crosno Josephina glass pieces over the back. Nice little Dalton figure there as well. And the Ambrose Griffin oil is really quite nice. Typical of his work. Just a nice example of a little Japanese deco trio. And some nice bits of glass and Dalton flambe vase and the McRobinson's jar of the back, size number three. There you go, really cool bit. Lovely little hand-painted piece of Paragon porcelain there as well. But yeah, should be a bit of fun this Thursday night. We've got the... Well, we've got Channel 10 coming to film, a couple of things being sold, I think. So the living room is the show Vanessa's yelling out to me. I think these are the items that we're selling for it. Little auto trolley there, a couple of other funny little bits and bobs, and some nice little bits here on the table as well. And this little drummer, little snare drum in the box there will sell quite well for him. And I reckon this little box here as well. There you go, 1948 church, little collection box or something like that. It's pretty cool though, with all the sort of, you know, cast metal, sort of wrought iron bits and bobs all the way around it, strengthening bits and the lock on the top. Yeah. So it should be a bit of fun on Thursday night, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, you know the score, bad luck.
we won't try and find something for you next week. Yeah.